discuss some drivability concerns with the A500 series of transmissions. The A500 series of transmissions is in numerous amounts of different vehicles and we're going to concentrate on one particular issue right now. On the A500 series of transmission, we've had a particular incidence of a double bump feeling in reverse. In other words, you put the shifter in reverse and we pick up a double shift into reverse. This has been prevalent in 99 and up vehicles. Many technicians have misdiagnosed this as an issue with the direct clutch drum having a concern with the inner seal. And we'll address that later in a different, different segment. But right now we're going to look at a Chrysler update that they've issued. On the separator plate, at check wall location number 9, which is in the lower half of the valve body, many technicians have been simply drilling this hole out and using a check wall repair kit on these. And that's a great fix. However, Chrysler has also introduced an updated service package for this, which comes with a new separator plate made out of harder material and they've added an orifice hole to the left of it. This is a great upgrade when doing rebuilds on these transmissions. Also when doing this service package, we want to replace the steel check ball with a Torlon check ball to add longer life to this plate. This is a great upgrade when servicing an A500 series vehicle. The part number is to my left. Keep it in stock. You're doing a lot of service work on A500s. It's a very nice upgrade. On the A500 and 518 series of transmissions, many technicians have experienced a late or delayed 2-3 upshift, also associated with a 2-3 slide. This has been directly linked to the inner piston seal in the direct clutch housing shrinking up and going away. Here we're seeing it on the 518 version of transmission. The seal is located on the inner bore located here. The original factory design seal was very narrow and didn't fill the entire gap. Precision International saw the need for this and readdressed the seal with a wider gap seal to fill the entire seal surface area up and allow for a nice smooth operation of the piston. Care should be taken when doing these overhauls as to when the piston seal shrinks up and we have the vehicle in the shop with a 2-3 shift concern, the seal surface area on the piston will become compromised from the piston itself rocking and hitting into the drum and scoring it up. So upon reassembly of the vehicle and transmission, we need to address this area with some Scotch-Brite type product with some 600 extra fine sandpaper to allow for long life of the seal. The 518 series of transmissions has come into many shops with all types of issues. We're going to address one of them today. This issue would be First thing in the morning, starting the vehicle up and putting the vehicle in drive, and the vehicle does not want to move. Now, most technicians would assume that this is a converter drain back issue, except for the fact that we put the vehicle in reverse and it backs up fine. The issue is only related to a drive operation, and the issue is going to, going to be directly related to the inner seal on the forward clutch piston. This seal is shrinking up in the cavity and traveling back and forth and allowing the oil to leak past, not allowing the forward clutch to come on. The original factory seal is very narrow and fits in the bore, bit, fits, fits very loosely in the bore. Precision International redesigned the seal to fill the void of the bore up and allow for a much more precise fit of the piston into the housing. When servicing this vehicle, we need to pay close attention to this inner surface area where the seal rides. This, this surface area should be polished very nicely with a scotch Bright type product with some 600 extra fine sandpaper. Now many technicians have related this directly to the butt cut plastic rings on the input shaft. These plastic rings are found on a late model 518s and they seal very nicely. This isn't the issue with it. Once you look at the inner seal from the factory and see how loosely it fits in this piston and then see how the precision seal fits in the piston, you'll see the leakage, the area of leakage concern and you'll know how to fix it. So look for the precision fix for this in the kits. Thank you. Today we're going to address two separate issues that are addressing the 500 and 518 series of transmissions. One would be a 1-2 slide shift or a 1-2 delayed shift or a 1-2 slip that we just can't get out no matter what we do. We're adjusting the band up and we're changing the band and we can't get that 1-2 shift to get where we need it to be. And the issue has been on the 1-2 accumulator piston, the factory is made it out of plastic. 
Now it's a soft plastic. It's got Teflon scoff cut rings on it and it tends to crack. It tends to crack down inside where we can't even see it, causing a leak in the circuit. Now, Southeast Tools has tooled up and made replacement pistons that is drop in items made out of aluminum with butt cut metal rings which drop right into 500, 518 series of transmissions which create a much better 1-2 shift apply. And we highly recommend these on any service work done as you never can tell when this piston is going to crack. It's been plastic and it doesn't seal well. These metal rings seal very nicely in the bores and it's an excellent upgrade to this unit. Now we're also going to step off onto the 518 series of transmissions on a reverse servo. Now when the 518 series of transmission comes into the shop and we see a repeated reverse band failure and we're thinking along the lines of a direct clutch in a seal not coming on quite properly right, take this servo apart in the reverse servo. Now many technicians don't take it apart because it's a real pain in the neck to do because it has a small circle clip on it which I hope you can see and you need to compress it in a vise because it's got a big heavy spring on it. Now once the circle clip is removed we see the heavy duty spring and the piston. The piston has been known to crack at the base where the spring collides with it. It will not show up on this back side but it will leak to the top of the seal area. Now Sonic Corp has made all different model pistons for the reverse servo as an upgrade for it. They made out of billet aluminum. They were a great upgrade for the service package on any of the 518 series transmissions. We do them in our shop. We replaced every one of them because this has been a hollow and a weak point in the failure. I hope this helps you guys. Today we're going to look at the A500-518 valve body issues which are vast and are many complaints related to the valve body. Now we've had issue with the pressure regulated valve buzzing. We've had issue with the vehicles not wanting to move when they're cold. Not wanting to move on initial startup and abrupt reverse engagement concerns. Now the valve bodies themselves are a very good service piece. However the valves have been known to wear in the bores and have issues. Sonex Corp recognized this concern and has redesigned several of the valves including the manual valve and the pressure regulated valve. Care should be taken when disassembling the valve body. As we can see we have pressure, pressure regulator springs and switch valve springs to deal with. The valves are direct drop in replacements as we can see. The pressure regulator valve installs simply, allows for a much smoother line rise and reduces the buzzing noise coming from the unit. The manual valve here requires removal of the e-clip at the top of the manual linkage shaft and careful placement of the replacement valve. The replacement manual valve allows for the converter to charge and park and allows for a smoother engagement ply in reverse. This is an excellent service upgrade package for these valve bodies. It works great in our shop and hope it will work great for you and ensure a long life of your product. We hope the preceding video you found useful and helpful. Thank you very much for watching this video. Any comments or questions, please direct them to our website or our phone number and have a great day.